So Jonathan, how did the band form? Informatics? Yes. Uh, I'm not doing this thing until I get my beer. A good analogy for that might be the scene from The Empire Strikes Back. I was getting pretty good at uh, the guitar, you know. One day I just actually just woke up and a bunch of these, these guys were in my room. Wait, wait. Hey, I need my beer! So maybe it would be easier for you to understand if I showed you with my Luke Hoff action figure. Yeah, the guys, they just had to get, you know, be involved with me in some way. I, I was just kind of weirded out, you know, and uh, I'm kind of weirded out. I know, what was the question? And then, and then, it comes into his hand, and the phlegmatics are formed. I mean, you know, I mean, look at this, you know, get a piece of this. You want to be in a band with us, Jonas? And that was it. And that's history, man. That's, that's, that's history. I don't know, I had been in it for two years. So how did you get into music? Um, um, it's a good question. Um, and I uh, wanted to play drums and... My mom and I figured that um, if I could join a band or something, I might meet people and get out and grow up. Well, Rebecca, the question should be, how did music get into me? Were you in any other bands? Oh, a lot of men. The homeowners gave us a third notice. When are you going to do that backyard? Hey, get off my back, woman! They really wanted, you know, peace of me, so they kind of straight on what they let me do. Nobody would, uh, nobody asked me. Uh, I was in this one funkadelic band. T.T. Troll. Uh, you know, also, you know, referred to as Doo Doo Dwarf by my friends who make fun of it. You know, you know friends, you know, like, ah! I always pretended like I was in um, the Cantina Band and uh, A New Hope. Oh, God. Oh, I got a cramp. Yeah, I thought I could really nail that. How long have you been playing your instrument? Uh, that question is kind of inappropriate. I think I started when I was 12. Uh, uh, oh, since I was like 12. 57. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> 18, 18, 18. I've been playing my instruments for a very long time. This is a good part. I'm, I'm a, a very talented person. Oh man, my brother's gonna kill me. Dude, man. Did you break my pitch? No, no, dude! Name some of your influences? Robbie Shankar, The Spice Girls, and Billy Ray Cyrus. B. Michael Jackson. Freedom! Oh, yeah. George Lucas, John Williams, Lawrence Kasdan. Come out with a bad album. Uh, Charizard. Venus or any of the, you know, basic Pokemon. I just, you know, nothing like that. Jigglypuff or Reese. He might be cute and pink and fluffy. I have a beautiful voice. So, uh, from where does song inspiration come? Where am I amused? What? <laughs> Inceptional moments. And what the heck? I don't. I just play. They, they do the songs. I just play on them. Oh, man. Oh. Man. I was in the middle. You can keep going. I'm not stopping you. I owe everything to one man and one man only. Ha ha ha! See, Okay, there. Hey, did he wash his hands? Marky Mark. Describe the live performances. Live performances? Oh. Well, there's one way to describe those, Rebecca. They are amazing. Do what? <laughs> They're pretty jolly, you know. They're bearable at times. They jump around a lot and, and do stuff. We've got a bunch of lightsabers, and we're just killing a bunch of stormtroopers. Like these rock hard abs right here. 
there, man. It's almost there. Dang I'm ready for it. you. Man, you know, these questions are kind of distracting, dude. So how does the band get along? I'm just like, oh, it's all in Princess Land. Like, I love you, baby. I love you too. Oh, I mean, we just, we get along, like, you know. We get along so great. Man, we get along great. Oh, we get along pretty fam you know, pretty famously. Sometimes, you know, it's like uh, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. It's like, you know, I hate you and oh, I'm gonna kill you. What's the Dad? Deal? I told you not to interrupt me right now. Shoes are falling off and you know, wedgies are happening and then there's crying. Just go out the side door and climb over the fence like everybody else is doing. I don't think I want to talk about this anymore. So what do you do for fun outside of the band? Uh, I actually like to, uh, you know, find a, this drink. I like to read literature, smoke my cigars, and appreciate great art, drink my beer, and uh, discuss great literature and art. Play with my guns, shoot them around. This is one I'm reading right now. Uh, Love my wife. Oh, I'm just getting here. I just sit out in front of the grocery store, corner store, and count the cars. Sweet, okay. Please. Okay. Okay. Right, thank you. What do you think about when you perform? Drinking beer, smoking cigars, playing with my guns and shooting them, and you know, uh, loving your wife. Yeah, loving my wife. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, there's no thinking involved. What are you talking about? That's good enough. It just, it just, you know, talent just exudes from my pores. It just, it just secretes from my pores. <sighs> Three words. <sighs> Mark E. Mark. I hear this voice in my head, like Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he's saying, Luke, switch off your targeting computer. <sighs> Matured over the years. Well, they added me. So we're not afraid to just show, just you know, our genius now. <laughs> I don't think we've lacked maturity before. Well, let's just say when the band started, I was just a boy. But now I'm a man. He's trying to, to trade me this car, Alcazan. For my first edition, look, I, no, I, 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 no, I don't have time for the little kid stuff right now. I'm a grown man. You got sweetie. Oh, thanks, mom. Wait, wait, what was it? What was it, Trey? No, you're getting taken. You should do that. Oh, Told you. You know, that's kind of an embarrassing question. Years, that, that, you know, I'm gonna have to make some stuff up now.